Hello everyone, this is William here, and welcome back to the Wheel Trains videos, and I'm going to play Minecraft again. Today we're going to build is the Duluth, Misabi, and Iron Range M32884 Yellowstone. And this is a based off is the M3 class 2884 type steam locomotive. The M3 and M4 classes were built by Baldwin Locomotive Works between 1941 and 1943. And this is what the Duluth, Misabi, and Iron Range M32884 Yellowstone used to look like. But sadly, they were retired from service between 1958 and 1963 because it was been taken over by diesel locomotives. And all the M3 and M4 classes were scrapped. All except three of them did survive, one which is number 225, the second one is number 227, and the final third one, which is number 229. You can find these locomotives to this day. Alright, that's about it of the history. It was been quested by for my videos, so here it is. I put some lots of details everywhere, including some details on the front, and I add some details on both sides. And I add Duluth, Misabi, and Iron Range name on the cross to tender on both sides. And I add some details on the tender. And I add the detailed driver's cab. It looks pretty good. Alright, that's about it. Let's start building. So we're going to start making some wheels using black concrete. Put one right here. Skip two and put two out of two. Skip one and put two out of two. Skip one and put two out of two. Skip one and put two out of two. Skip two and put two out of two. Skip one and put two out of two. Skip one and put two out of two. Skip one and put two out of two. Skip two and pull right here. Skip two and pull one right here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use another brick slab to put above of the wheels. Next, we're going to use stone bricks. And then we're going to start right here and put one, two, three, four, five walks long. Next, we're going to use nether brick stairs, put between of the driving wheels. Next, we're going to make some pistons using black concrete. Put two out of two. Put two out of two. On the other side, put two out of two and put two out of two. At the very back, you're going to put one right here and put two here. On the other side, put one right here and put two here. At the front, we're going to use nether brick stairs. It will be the cow catcher. Put two of them facing this way on both sides and then put one right here facing this way. 
Next, we're going to use black concrete. Put two here. And then you're going to put two of them on both sides using quartz slab. Next thing we're going to use is gray concrete. We're going to start right here and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks long. And on the middle, we're going to use black concrete. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two blocks long. And then you're going to put two here, and put two here, and put two here, and delete one. And on the middle, you're going to put one right here using nether brick stairs. On the back, we're going to use the hopper. Put two here. Next, we're going to use nether brick slab. Put two here. And next, we're going to use nether brick stairs. Put two here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use nether brick wall. Put two here. Over here, we're going to put is nether brick fence. Next, we're going to use nether brick slab. Put one right here. And we're going to start right here and skip one and put two here. And next, we're going to put is nether brick stairs. And do the same thing on the other side. On the front, we're going to use nether brick wall. Put two here. Next, you're going to put nether brick slab. Next, you're going to put is nether brick stairs. Like that. And do the same thing on the other side. Over here, you're going to put two here, and put two here. On the other pistons, put two here, and put two here, using nether brick stairs. And at the front, we're going to use nether brick slab. Put one right here on the middle, and put three here. Next, we're going to use quartz slab. Put two of them on both sides. Next, we're going to use nether brick slab. We're going to start right here and put two here. Next, we're going to use nether brick stairs. Put two here. And next, we're going to use nether brick wall. So we're going to fill all the way across right here. And do the same thing on the other side. And over here, we're going to put two of them using nether brick wall. Next, we're going to use nether brick stairs. Put two here. Next, we're going to use nether brick wall. Put two here. Next, we're going to use nether brick slab. Put two here. And then we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the other side, you're going to put one right here using nether brick slab. Next, we're going to put one right here using nether brick wall. Next, we're going to use nether brick stairs. Put two here. Next, we're going to use nether brick wall. Put one right here. Skip two and put one right here. Next, we're going to use nether brick slab. Put two here. And then we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we're going to start making some side rods using quartz stairs, iron trap door, and quartz slab. So we're going to put two iron trap doors here. And next, you're going to put 
two court slabs here. Next, you're going to put one using court stairs. And then we're going to use court slab and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And over here, you're going to do the same thing. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing. And then on the front, we're going to make the coupling rod using block of redstone and a piston. So put a block of redstone in here and then put a piston in here. Next, we're going to use gray concrete. We're going to start right here and skip one. And then you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven blocks long and then we're going to start right here and put three here skip three and put three here and do the same thing on the other side and then we're going to start right here and put two here skip one and then we're going to fill all the way across right here and do the same thing on the other side and on the middle we're going to start right here and skip one and then we're going to fill all the way across right here on top we're going to start right here on the middle and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-five blocks long. And then you're going to put two out of six. Next thing we're going to use is black concrete. We're going to start right here and skip one, two, three, four, five, and then put two here. And then we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then put two here. And do the same thing on the other side. And then over here, we're going to start right here and skip one, two, three, and put two here. And then we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then put two here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use stone brick stairs. And then we're going to put one, two, three, four, and put one facing this way, like this, and put three here, and put one facing this way, like this, and do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use smooth stone. Put one right here, and put one right here, and put one right here. On the front of the boiler, we're going to use nether brick wall. Put one right here, and put two of them on both sides. Next, we're going to use black concrete. Put one right here, and put two of them on both sides. And then you're going to put two of them on both sides using nether brick slab. 
Next thing we're going to use is cord slab. We're going to start right here and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 blocks long. And then you're going to put two here and do the same thing on the other side. On top of the boiler, we're going to use another brick slab. We're going to start right here and put three here. Skip one and put one right here. And then we're going to skip one, two, three and put one right here. Skip one and put two here. Skip two and put one right here. Skip two and put one right here. Skip two and put two here. Skip two and put one right here. At the back, we're going to use black concrete. So we're going to put one, two, three. Skip one and put one right here. And put one right here. And then we're going to put one, two, three four, five, six, and do the same thing on the other side. On top, you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. Next, we're going to use nether brick stairs. And put one facing this way like this. And over here, put one facing this way, like that. And do the same thing on the other side. Over here on the second pistons, you're going to delete two. And then we're going to use another brick wall. Put two here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use end rod will be some handrails. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And then you're going to put two here and delete one. And do the same thing on the other side. And then you're going to put two here and put two here. Next, we're going to use stone button to connect the wheels. And then we're going to start right here and skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then put one right here. And then we're going to skip one, two, three, four, and put one right here. And then we're going to skip one, two, three, and put one right here, and put two here. And do the same thing on the other side. On top, you're going to put two here. And put one right here. And put one right here. And put one right here. And put six of them. Next, we're going to use dark arch button. Put two here. And put two here. Put two here. And put two here, and put two here, and put two here. On the other side, put two here, and put two here. On the front, put two here, and put three here, and put one right here, and put one right here. On the front of the boiler, you're going to put one right here using the bell. Next, 
we're going to use with their skeleton skull. There'll be some lights. Put two of them on both sides. On top, we're going to use arc fence gate. There'll be some safety valves. Put one right here. Over here, we're going to use dark arch button. Put one right here. Next, we're going to use black carpet to cover it. Next, we're going to use a ladder. Next, we're going to use black stained glass. It'll be the driver's cab windows. On the front, we're going to use nine to frame. Put one right here. Next, you're going to put this sea lantern. That will be the headlight. Next, we're going to use dark arch sign. Put two of them on both sides of the headlight. These will be the number plates. And then put one right here. On the other side, put one right here. That is going to be the builder's plates. And on the front, put two here on both sides. Next, we're going to use branch sign. Put two here. On the other side, put two here. At the back, put one right here. On the other side, put one right here. These will be the number plates. On top of the driver's cab, we're going to use black carpet to cover it. We're going to start right here on the middle and skip one and put two here. And then we're going to use dark arch trapdoor. All right, now we're going to make some details inside the cab. So first you're going to put the block here. Next, you're going to put this arc trapdoor here and delete the block. Next, we're going to put this campfire. Next, we're going to use the item frame. Put three here. And we're going to use the compass in the item frame. Next, we're going to use the lever put two here and put one right here and put two here on both sides and put two of them on top. Next, we're going to use stone button, put one right here and on the very back, we're going to use the torch, there'll be some lights. Next, we're going to use nether brick wall, put two here Next thing we're going to use is stone presser plate. Put one on the middle and put two of them on both sides. Next, we're going to use iron door. And then we're going to use stone brick stairs. It will be some seats. All right, now we made the detailed cap inside. Okay, on the back, we're going to use stone bricks. Put one right here. That would be connecting up the tender. Next, we're going to use stone brick stairs. Put one right here. That will be the platform. And put two of them on both sides. All right, that takes care of the locomotive. Now let's do the tender. So we're going to start making some wheels using black concrete. So we're going to start right here and skip one, two, three, and put one right here, skip two, 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 and put one right here. And do the same thing on the other side. 
Next, we're going to use another brick slab to the above of the wheels. Next, we're going to use stone bricks. And then we're going to start right here and skip one. And then we're going to fill all the way across right here. Next, we're going to use another brick slab. We're going to start right here and put one here, and one right here, and one right here, and one right here. Skip one, and one right here. Skip two, 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 and one right here. Skip one, and one right here. And do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use another brick stairs. The one facing this way like this. And one facing this way like that. And do the same thing on the other side. And put you here. On the other side, put you here. Next, we're going to use black concrete. Next, we're going to use the hopper. Next, we're going to use black concrete. So you're going to put one, two, three, four. On the other side, you're going to put one, two, three, four. And at the very back, you're going to put five here. And on both sides, we're going to use nether brick stairs. And then on the back, you're going to put two here. On the other side, put two here. Next, we're going to use another brick slab. Put three here. Next, we're going to make the coupling rod using block of redstone and a piston. So put a block of redstone in here and then put a piston in here. Next, we're going to use white concrete. We're going to start right here and skip one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to put one, two, three, skip one and one right here, skip one and one right here, skip one, and then you're going to put one, two, three, four. Then you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then put two here and delete one. And then you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then puts you here and delete one and puts you here and puts you here and delete two and puts you here and delete one. On the other side, we're going to start right here and skip one, two, three, four, five, and then you're going to put one, two, three, four, skip one and one right here, skip one and one right here, skip one, and then you're going to put one, two, three. And then you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then put two here 
and delete one. And then you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And put two here and delete one. And put two here and put two here and delete two. And put two here and delete one. Next, we're going to use black concrete. Over here, you're going to put two here and put two here. And then you're going to put one, two, three, and put one, two, three, and put one, two, three, and put three here. And then we're going to start right here and skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to fill all the way across. to put one two three skip one and put two here skip one and put one two three four five and on the side we're going to start right here and put one two three four five skip one and then you're going to put one two three four five six you're going to do the same thing on the other side Then you're going to put three here and put one on the middle. And on the very back, put one on the middle. Next, we're going to use nether brick stairs. We're going to start right here and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And put one facing this way, like that. And do the same thing on the other side. Next thing we're going to use is nether brick slab. We're going to start right here and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And do the same thing on the other side. And over here, you're going to put one right here. And then we're going to fill it in using block of coal. And then you're going to put two here and put one right here and put one right here and put two here and put two here and put one right here and put two here and put two here, and then put two here. On the front of the tender, we're going to use stone bricks. Put one right here. That will be connecting of the tender. Next, we're going to use stone brick stairs. Put one right here. That will be the platform. And put two of them on both sides. Next, we're going to use iron bars. Put two here and put two here. Next, we're going to use stone button. Put one right here. And on the middle, we're going to use the lever. Put one right here. Okay, now we're going to put some final touches for the tender. So first, we're going to use stone button. Put two here. Put two here. On the other side, put two here. On top, we're going to start right here and skip two and put three here, skip one and put three here. And then we're going to skip one, two, three and put three here, skip one and put three here. 
Next, we're going to use dark arch button. Put two here, and put two here, and put one right here, put one right here, put one right here. On the other side, put one right here, and put one right here. Put two here, put two here, put two here, and put two here. On the other side, put two here, put two here, put two here, and put two here. Next, we're going to use branch button. There'll be the Duluth, Misabi, and Iron Range name on the cross to tender. So we're going to start right here and put one, two, three, four. Skip one and put one, two, three. And over here, we're going to start right here and put one here. Skip one and put two here. Skip one and put two here. And on the middle, you're going to put four here. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to use the ladder. Over here, you're going to put one right here using the bell. Next, we're going to use Wither Skeleton Skull. There'll be some lights. Put two of them on both sides. Next, we're going to use Dark Arch Fence Gate. Put two of them on both sides. Next thing we're going to use is Nether Brick Fence. Put two of them on both sides. Over here, you're going to put three here and put one right here using Iron Trapdoor. Next, we're going to use Dark Arch Trapdoor. back we're going to use the item frame put one right here next you're going to put is sea lantern that will be the backlight next we're going to use dark arch sign put two of them on both sides on the backlight these will be the number plates and finally we're going to use branch sign put two of them on the side here All right, we're finished. And I think that's about it, how to build the Duluth, Misabi, and Iron Range M32884 Yellowstone. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to give me a like and subscribe. And you hope you enjoy the Will Trains videos, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.